Welcome back guys, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. I actually fell asleep last night, this video was meant to go up yesterday, it is the face cam Q&A and giveaway guys. But um, it is currently, I'm not gonna lie, 11am in the morning, I fell asleep really early, sorry I didn't get to upload yesterday. But there will be two videos coming out today guys, this and then a normal episode after, so stay tuned for that. But for now, what are we gonna do? It's going to be a quick fire Q&A, so I asked you guys, my subs, to ask me questions on Instagram. And if you don't follow me already, it is General underscore Tony. And we've got a total of 2,000 questions. So we're going to ask and answer, of course, those questions right now. At the end of the video, we are going to pick 10 winners for the $500 gift card giveaway. Seven of them will be from YouTube and three of them will be from Instagram. So $150 on Instagram. $350 here on YouTube guys and there are a total of about 30 40,000 entries so good luck to every single one of you for now we're gonna get ourselves into the Q&A guys so there's 2,000 questions well 2,000 comments and I'm gonna try and answer as many as I can so here we go and uh, I'm actually gonna start off with one from the DM so one of my friends DM'd me and he's called Andrexus shout out to him and he says hope you're doing well two questions for you did you imagine for coming this far on YouTube? And the uh, the question is no, guys. To be honest with you, you don't really imagine anything. It's so weird. YouTube is like one of the weirdest things in the world. Like, um, when it starts to grow, you realize the potential on it. But before that, you don't even think about it. It's kind of like you upload a video. And if someone comments down below a nice comment, you get happy. And as the years go by, it just kind of grows. It gets strange. I don't really know how to explain it, guys. But I don't think anyone imagines having 10 million or, you know, even a million subscribers on YouTube because a million subs is a million people and it's just mind blowing. So moving on to question number two, where do I see myself in a year's time, guys, or a couple of years time? And the honest answer is, once again, I'm not really too sure. To be honest with you, obviously COC is a great game. I still enjoy it. And as long as there are constant updates, I will still get enjoyment from it. Uh, as of YouTube, I'm going to keep playing COC for at least, I imagine, another year. And uh, we'll see where the game takes us, guys. If, it, if it's still fun, still entertaining, then we're going to keep doing it. And by the way, if you've made it this far into the episode, thank you so much for being one of the 2 million subscribers. One day we might hit 3 million, and uh, when we hit that, who knows, guys? Who knows when it's going to be? Thank you, though, for all the support on the channel. So, check this out. By the way, I just woke up like an hour ago, which is why I may look a little bit tired. So... Here's a good question. If your YouTube career finishes, what will you go and do after that? Well, if my YouTube career finishes, I'm actually a uh, an animator, so I graduated in animation, and my dream was always to create my own app, which was to be a game. And I think if my YouTube career finishes, or I could even combine them together, guys, one day I would probably like to create my own game. I don't know what I don't want it to be something cheesy. I don't want it to be something unoriginal. I want to put a lot of thought, even a lot of money into it, guys, and uh, try and come up with something really cool. Obviously, not on the level of COC. That, for me, I don't have that skill level, guys. But um, I don't know. Something really cool, and I would love to try that. Even if my YouTube career doesn't finish and it stays around for another couple of years, then uh, maybe I could combine them into, you know, one and see what happens. Let me know what your thoughts are about that, guys. So, here's a good one. So, I've got, like, 70,000 followers on Instagram uh, something around the same on Twitter and obviously over 2 million subs on YouTube and everyone says why don't you reply to my posts? Why don't you reply to my DMs guys? The honest question is the honest answer is I get thousands and thousands of messages every single day I mean, I'm looking at my YouTube comment the most recent video has like four or five thousand comments and uh, I try to reply to at least 10 20 on every single video guys I know that doesn't sound a lot but um, usually if your comment gets a lot of likes, I'll reply to it unless you're being sarcastic or it's a joke. And uh, I just try my best. To be honest with you, I spend about an hour reading and replying to as many as I can. Instagram, same thing. Thousands of messages, guys. It's just extremely hard. So let me scroll up. There's 2,000 questions. I'm going to see if we can get some good ones. Okay, so here's like a generic one. Do you have any brothers and sisters? How old are you? Where do you live? Blah, blah, blah. So I got two brothers, one sister, both brothers. Older sister is younger than me. She actually has her YouTube channel. Well, we had it together. It was called Tony and Sophia. So make sure you check that out, guys. And uh, I'm 23, going to be turning 24 in 20 days time. The 30th of August, 2017, guys. I will be 24 years old or 24 years young. Don't know which one it is. I live in London, guys. Currently live with my mom in a house. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, 
Hey Tony, tell us your talent. So I've always, and I'm not just saying this, been talented at playing games. Now COC, it's kind of more fun. I don't really try and become the best at it. Although, I do try and trophy push sometimes, guys, but it doesn't really have, like, a grab onto me. Like, sometimes they get bored of trophy pushing, and uh, the reason why I actually don't do it that much is quite simply because of that. But when I was younger, I used to be a competitive Call of Duty player. Used to play in, you know, clan battles and all that stuff. And I'm not joking. I was ranked on game battles. I don't know if anyone used to play game battles. Maybe it's really old. But I was number one in Europe on that, on the 1v1 battles. And uh, my name on that was actually Fierce Predator, guys. So shout out to anyone who remembers that. But... We're going to keep scrolling. So, what do the gift cards actually, uh, how do you give them out? So, basically, it's pretty simple, guys. It's a huge giveaway. It is run by a site called Gleam. They basically choose the winners themselves. I have no choice. They are chosen at random by the site. Google, I think, just generates random winners. And then uh, every single one of you will receive an email once you have won. And if you don't respond to the email, you won't receive your prize. So, you need to check your mailbox, guys, if you are a winner. And then on Instagram, you have to DM me because I will not be DMing you on Instagram guys if you are a winner on Instagram it's your job to DM me and I will reply to you guys so I will be checking my inbox on Instagram and uh, so moving on and with Instagram I'm gonna be picking the winner sorry I forgot to mention that I'm gonna pick them at the end of the video guys so stay tuned this video so far is six minutes 35 we're gonna answer about another five six minutes worth of questions and then we're going to get ourselves into the giveaway winners, and then we're going to choose the Instagram winners. So, nice and simple. Let's keep it going, guys. How long did it take you to reach a Legends League? Well, I reached the Legends first time, I believe, as a Town Hall 10. I don't know. Maybe that's a lie. Maybe I'm lying to myself, guys. I can't remember. I want to say Town Hall 10, and that would have been before Town Hall 11 was released. Or was Town Hall 10... I can't remember, maybe I was Town Hall 11 when I reached Legends League, guys. I think it was like a year and a half ago. It was literally not long after Legends was released, I pushed up there. I think I got to like 5,010 trophies and then I gave up, it was so hard. And then I got to 5,800 a couple of seasons later. So when did you start YouTube? I started in December 2014. Three years ago almost, guys. Coming up to three years, two million subs, crazy. Was it imaginable? I don't really know, guys. If you had an opportunity, to add a new troop or new defense in the game, what would it be? Okay, let's be unoriginal. What troop would I steal from Royale and bring into COC? I'm gonna... I, I want something which is unique to the game. And uh, I haven't actually checked out that new legendary troop. I think he's called the Knight or something. Or something like that. He looks pretty cool. But uh, I don't know. I'm not really too sure, guys. But a new defense? Something which is more along the lines of a flamethrower. That would be awesome. Definitely, and it does flash damage, so, you know, a Town Hall 11, I'm not being funny, but in the Builder's Village, it's hard to get a 2-star or a 3-star in the main account. It's so easy to 2-star and 3-star Town Hall 11s, it's, it's a joke, to be honest with you. So, will you come to India if you are? Please say why in a Q&A. Sorry, sorry, please say when inside of a Q&A, guys. So, will I come to India? I would love to, guys, but... I probably won't be for at least another 7, 8, 9 months. I did go to Dubai... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, then I went to Mexico. Uh, I won't be going back to Dubai, guys. I've been there twice now in the last couple of years, so I want to go somewhere different. I want to go to India, China, and Thailand. Those are probably my top three, guys. So, and Japan. I love Japan, guys. Looks awesome. I definitely want to check that out, but I'll probably do them all in, like, similar sort of trip because they're not too far from each other. So, keep going. Let's scroll even higher, guys. Let's go into the uh, some of the first comments which were posted. There are thousands of comments. So... Here we go. Let's go. Why did the builder leave the base? What are his plans? And do you think he's going to learn something new? Okay, so this is the hot topic which is currently going on in the game, guys. My opinion, builders left. All five of them, well, five of mine have gone. And uh, I think Supercell is going to do something so, so kind of cheeky. I, I reckon they're doing something which no one expects. What could it be? Definitely, obviously, going to be do something to, you know, upgrade and make the builders better. Because the whole point of this game is to prolong the future. But you can't have a future if the players are dropping from the past. So what Supercell's trying to do, in my opinion, is make a lot of people Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, so they can release, you know, Town Hall 12 in the future, guys. And that just allows the game to keep on going. And if you disagree with this, I'm going to have to say you're wrong. I do genuinely think there will be Town Hall 12, there will be Town Hall 13, guys. The map's probably going to expand, the game's going to expand, 
If the game lasts another five years, I'm not being funny, we're probably going to have Town Hall 13, Town Hall 14. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, guys. And uh, that's Supercell's plans, I believe. Just like when, you know, you get a new government inside of your country, they've already planned out what the future is for the next five or ten years. I think Supercell does the same, except theirs is a little bit smaller. Maybe they plan the future for the next one to two years. And, you know, things do change, but they try and stick to that plan. So maybe the two-year plan is to have... You know, Town Hall 13 release, but how do they get there? And that's where they fill in all the different gaps, guys. That's what my opinion is, and this is one of those gaps. Builders need to be, you know, upgrading buildings faster, and maybe they're going to be learning off the Master Builder inside of the other village, guys. So that's my opinion. Let me know what yours is down below, and leave a like if you made it this far into the episode, guys. So last question. What's your favorite troop in the Builder's base? Okay. I'm going to have to be unoriginal. I'm going to go with a Rage Barbarian, guys. Use them every single battle. They're OP. They're awesome. They're fun. They're unique. And they just get the job done. And I, to be honest with you, I love every troop in the Builder's base, apart from the Night Witch. I really don't like her. I don't use her. She was the last troop to be released. I think she sucks. I think she comes down to luck. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get unlucky. If you get lucky, you can 3-star. If you're unlucky, you can get a fat 0-star, guys. And um, I really don't like the, uh, the Night Witch. So there we go. That's the end of the Q&A. So what we're going to do now... I'm going to choose three winners from Instagram, then we're going to hop on my computer and we are going to choose seven winners. So three winners, each person's going to receive $50, one, two, three hundred fifty dollars It is iTunes Android, but if you are from outside of the US or the EU, you will have the chance to get PayPal, guys. Remember, on Instagram, you DM me. On YouTube, I am going to email you with the email you use to enter. So good luck to everyone. There are 7,000, 8,000 comments in total. To make it as fair as possible, I'm going to choose one from the top, one from the middle, one from the bottom. And then on YouTube, I don't choose them, guys. Google chooses them. So don't go down below and say, you know, Tony, you suck, or, you know, something crazy like that, guys. It's not my choice. And uh, I will show you the giveaway winners in a minute on the, uh, on the actual Google one, guys. So entering the giveaway. Here we go. I'm just going to literally read a random name out and it's your job to DM me guys so here we go Sweeney140 you win $50 now we're gonna scroll all the way to the middle it's gonna take me a second guys so please be patient there are literally let me see if this will focus no it's too bright guys but there are literally thousands and thousands of comments so good luck to everyone so that was the first one guys here we go remember you DM me I will not be DMing you on Instagram and uh, we're moving on to the next one. Next one goes to Aravin64. You win $50, guys. And we're going to scroll as quickly as I can up to the top, guys. So there are loads. Thank you for all these nice comments as well. So many people have literally commented such nice things on this post. But I can't believe how many comments we have. Like 8,000 in total. It's insane. To scroll all the way to the top is ridiculous, guys. So let's keep going, let's keep going. And then we're going to choose seven winners from the, uh, what's this video, 13 minutes. We're going to choose seven winners from the um, the actual, uh, the other giveaway, guys. So stay tuned for that. And that will be $350. So here we go. And we are here. Okay, guys, so the winner. Now there's five comments, there's six comments on the screen. You can just about see that, guys. Six comments on the screen. I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to put my finger on one. So three, two, one. So that is Herrera Usain, guys. Herrera Usain. You win yourself $50. So good luck. Let's move on to giveaway number two. Okay, so check this out, guys. This is the rest of the giveaway. It is seven prizes. There are a total of just under 4,000 entries. I said 40,000, I think, at the start of the episode. I'm in 4,000. So there's actually... Not a great chance of winning, but you've got a much better chance than usual. The giveaway was only 24 hours, so my most active subs will get the best chance of winning, guys. So good luck to every single person. We're about to draw all seven winners right now. Seven prizes, $50, 350 plus 150 on Instagram, totaling $500. If you are a winner, do not worry. I will contact you via email, guys. You do not have to contact me. So, you know, anyone who thinks they're smart and can, you know, make an email and say, Tony, where's my gift card? No, I will contact you guys. I'm about to show you the winners on screen. We are about to draw them live right now. Good luck to every single person. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. These are your seven winners for the 2 million subscriber giveaway 
on Gleam.io, randomly chosen by the internet. I had no choice in this, guys, so let's do this. Here we go. Seven winners. You can see every single one of them on screen. Let's just scroll to the bottom, guys. There they are, all seven. So congratulations to all seven people coming from all over the world. Now, those are the emails on screen I will be emailing. Make sure if you are a winner to check your inbox. And I'm going to try to get you your code or your PayPal money within... 48 hours, but it may take up to 72 hours guys just depends how quick you reply and how busy I actually am So if you want the chance to win another giveaway subscribe to the channel leave a like and have a great week guys I will see you shortly that totals 10 prizes $500 on the channel. Thank you for 2 million subscribers